Hey everybody, Jimmo back again, stepping away from cars this time to do a favor here for my sister, spraying her kitchen cabinets, and you may recall from one of my earlier videos, much earlier videos, I uh, did some for her at a previous house, and I did such a great job, I guess, that I got suckered into another batch of them. So, um, you can see it's unfinished wood, basically just gave it a little sand and wipe down, and I'm going to apply paint right over top. So I'm spraying Onyx Production, the solvent version of the product, opposed to the Waterborne, which I'm not sure would have worked quite as well. I thought the solvent would be a better choice here. Uh, I don't have a tremendous amount of experience painting wood, so I can't say for sure, but uh, that's what I used last time. I used Diamond last time, which is the high VOC, which is not compliant for me anymore. Um, but uh, since that worked pretty well, I decided to go with the solvent. And I'm applying my paint with the Iwata LPH 400 with a 1.4 tip. And it is recommended to use a 1.5 with this stuff, but uh, I think this is all I had available to me. And it's spraying pretty well. I'm going a little bit lighter. Um, I just want to make sure that there, there's no reaction on the wood. Like I say, my experience with painting wood is pretty limited. Uh, you could probably get away with putting it on a bit wetter. And this stuff actually covers really well as a solid. Well, it covers well as with metallic colors, but the reduction with solids is a little bit different. It actually doesn't have a reducer in it. It has just a few binders that uh, I guess act as the reducer. And it results in very good coverage and hiding when it comes to using solid colors. Now, I don't know that I really have a ton to talk about on this job. Pretty well just going to be spraying away. Uh, it's a solid color. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to apply. And what we're going to be doing after the fact is applying a matte clear on it so we have a nice surface to clean off after because if we just left the base coat the way it was, then uh, cleaning would be difficult and it wouldn't actually have the proper gloss level. It would have more of a sheen like we have here. Um, so this flat clear is going to bring the gloss level a little bit lower and uh, it'll give you a, a surface that you can clean off after. So that's why we're doing that. And I'm going to go around. I got two... We have to paint the outside of these first with the flat clear then flip them over after they've dried so I can do the insides of the door so uh, a bit of a multi-step process with these things now I have actually done cabinets with a, with a full gloss uh, for my own house at one point and they turned out pretty good they looked really nice but the biggest issue with them especially with me I have small kids and they get fingerprints all over them and trying to keep them clean and maintain them is a nightmare so uh, I definitely always recommend a flat finish when it comes to cabinets unless you you know you have um, a full-time maid that that might be a situation where a full gloss would work for you but uh, I don't have a full-time maid so yeah it didn't didn't work for me and another thing as I mentioned at the beginning I am NOT uh, by any means a wood refinishing professional most of what I do is either plastic metal, fiberglass, something along those, something found in the automotive industry. So if you guys have any tips on refinishing wood, I'd love to hear them because, uh, um, you know, it's uh, something I don't do often, but I like to be on top of things when things like this come up. And I can say that uh, I have seen one instance where we were refinishing trim. I think it was my uncle who worked here as well at the time. And he was refin refinishing trim, putting a clear on it. And he put a clear over top of it, and I guess it had some sort of a lacquer coating on it. And it just bubbled up and uh, it didn't work out for him. Um, and I think he just had to throw that piece of wood in the garbage. But uh, like I say, if you guys have any tips, make sure you throw them out there because I'd love to hear them. But I'm definitely not a stranger to getting odd things, uh, being asked to paint or painting them myself. So I mean, over the years I've painted what Xbox controllers, PlayStation consoles, um, military hoods with sand in them. And uh, front doors, I've, I've done a few front doors, but they're usually metal and it's something that is a pretty familiar familiar bleh, tongue twister familiar substrate to me so uh, that's not usually an issue but uh, anyway you can see I did the inside first and I baked it on a low temperature for I think around an hour and it was a fast clear so uh, that's another advantage here for the slower clear you don't have to wait a bit longer but uh, I painted the inside first just uh, in case I flipped them over and they might have marked but um, that wasn't an issue they actually turned out pretty good so uh, I'm moving on to the outside now I also decided to go with one coat of clear on the inside and then two on the outside. Now, I probably could have done just one on both sides because these are going in a basement where there's going to be zero light coming in, zero UV 
so it's not going to wear the paint so the sun's going to wear it down if it's close to a window and it's constantly getting um, abuse from the sun it will start to chalk up and fade if you don't have enough clear coat on it so that's something to be aware of so the color that we came up with was from the BASF color deck I just pulled some chips uh, from their solid color deck and had them pull this one out here just a dark brown and uh, so yeah from here it's just pretty well back to doing my edges and coloring everything in So after two coats of a flat clear, they look a little something like this. We've got a nice even matte look, which is what we want with a flat product. And hopefully she'll be pretty happy with these. Well, actually, I know she was happy with them because uh, she hasn't bothered me anyway. And they are installed. So um, hopefully she doesn't bother me again in the near future. And I guess that's going to be it for today. So don't worry, we're going to get back to automotive stuff coming up. And um, hopefully we'll have all kinds of excitement to look forward to. And in the meantime, you can check us out on Refinish Network, on Facebook, Twitter, all of those wonderful places. And yeah, so hopefully I'll see you there. So thanks again, everyone, and we will see you next time.